Hey Dreamers, this is Jackto Plays, and today it's episode 10. Uh, episode 10 of Project Fenty Hall, and it's a big update. I have been doing a lot of like um, decorating into the scene, and um, so yeah, so if you're curious about this, um, it's a big update this time. It's, it's, um, I must say that we are basically almost done with the whole. Um, set up an old game like it's not a game but like an old environment everything is like it's been finished and it's been uh done so stay tuned a little bit of like a disclaimer before we're actually going to show you everything um first of all there's a fan blowing in my face right now <laughs> uh i already said it in the previous video it's super hot inside my house at the moment of recording and uh it's uh well it's uh it's super hot so, um, a little bit disclaimer, if you hear something blowing or like, <laughs> then it's, or me breathing or it's the fan itself that's like, it's uh, blowing in my face right now. It's, uh, I cannot go without it. So I'm sorry. So, um, if the audio is a little bit, maybe a little bit off, then you know why. Um, so yeah, so basically I have been doing a lot of stuff, um, and since this is episode 10, I'm going to explain a little bit of what I have been doing uh, in this project, what I have been uh, basically finished off the environment and I'm not really sure if I'm going to do one more video after this. Maybe I will do one more video after this showing the UI design and how everything is working in the game because like, uh, well game, uh, well in this environment, because, like, I still want to have like an interaction with the characters that you are, uh, that you come across. Uh, you can talk with them, so I, I have not any dialogue yet, so that's all something that I really want to add, uh, implemented in this. And I'm not really sure if I want to do another video of, of, of that, or maybe it's a surprise and you can figure it out and, and, and find out yourself. But uh, maybe I'm just also showing it because, yeah, Dreams is dying slowly. Not many people are, are playing Dreams anymore, um, which I totally understand. But I'm still here, so I'm, I still love to create as long as I can do it. I still create in dreams as much as I can. So, yeah, let's, uh, without further ado, that's for the intro. Let's go straight into it. Um, well, there's not really much changed in this particular environment uh, behind us. Like, it's uh, it all looks the same. I maybe have some replaced some assets here and there. Um, but it's not like the big uh, the big thing here. There's I still don't have any fence here like uh, going continuing on here um, I do see something else that I, I Accidentally removed the butterflies here. Whoops um, that, That's my mistake. They're still there, but I um, they are turned off um, All right, so if we are liking walk up here while well, we see our like famous post I changed a little bit of the text of the post. It's now saying city of Baldrun instead of uh, Baldrun City. Uh, I thought it would sound cooler. City of Baldrun. Um, so uh, maybe in the future content I will actually build the City of Baldrun. That would be pretty cool if maybe we can expand this whole creation. Um, like it's my final, final creation in Dreams eventually. Like a long series of this. If you want to see this or maybe I'll just like smaller do other smaller projects here and there. I don't know. Um, but I'm not going going anywhere. I still do dreams. Um, let me first show. I'm not going to show you on the right side because that's the big update. But let me first show you inside the the bar. Oh, and by the way, I extended the the staircase as I said that I was going to do it in the previous video. It's a little bit like an ex a tiny little extension on the staircase. So because like I made one stair. Uh, I, I, well, I extended the staircase, so I was like, okay, I also need to do the railing a little bit, a little bit further. So now it's sticking out a little bit of, like, the, um, the entrance. Uh, I really like that, so that's what I did. So if we're going up in the staircase, I mean, you're pressing square here. We're going inside the bar. And you probably already know, uh, you probably already know, or you probably already can tell, there's some stuff, like, different. Uh, a lot of stuff, of course, still the same, but I have basically... Um, I, I, I'm not going to say finish the decoration because like I always think that I can do a little bit more here and there but um, in, in overall it's done um, so what I've been doing in this update in this inside the barn uh, first of all I uh, readjusted the colors of the benches or like on the, the tables I mean 
and Avengers, of course, as well, so that they fit a little bit more in the environment. They were very, like, orange-looking, and that really didn't feel nice. Uh, and it needs to look, like, brown and dark and, uh, like, like old wood and stuff like that, so you are, like, in a dark um, bar. And I did the same with the floor. The floor is now also a little bit more darker instead of, like, the orange-looking. Um, I changed a little bit of like the the barrels here. Um, I removed some barrels that I had before. Felt a little bit odd uh, off in this whole creation that I had before. Um, I had some other barrels. It looks very cartoony, and yeah, it's, I'm not going for a cartoony in this creation. So I completely deleted them and readjusted them. Uh, for the good paying attention people, there is something gone uh, with the weapon barrels. Um, but there is a reason for it because like I needed I needed graphics turbo. <laughs> um, there was like an, an, an um, how do you say that? like an, 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 a chain ball uh, weapon that I had and it was three percent graphics turbo uh, or now two percent it was two percent graphics turbo and I got rid of it and the reason why I got rid of it I it, it, I don't know I I didn't really feel that it should be there I still have the land still like the um, the halberd, I think it's called the halberd. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, but the halberd is still there because, like, I don't want to only have swords in here, so they were like a different weapon type. So, there's also a second halberd still there. Um, give a little bit of the immersion that there are like wep different weapons. Uh, what else we have done? We have, uh, well, some small updates like the plates. I painted the plates and readjusted the plates where people are eating from their bread and stuff like that. And the meals um, because like it was way too off with the color with the, the there was no painting on it so i had to repaint it maybe i'm going to find different plates on the dream reverse if i can find better ones um but for now i readjusted them repainted them a little bit not too much but not too crazy but just like small detail details on it uh so it fits a little bit more in uh, in the environment as well so that's what i did and i did like everywhere um also what i have been doing is putting the chandeliers at the spots where they should go maybe i need to adjust them a little bit here and there but basically now every table where you can sit on it has a chandelier and also a uh, small little candles as well so it like it lives up very nicely in this room right and i have that everywhere so i have that in every uh, on, above every table, I have uh, the chandeliers. So you can see the chandeliers are, and they're all like um, doing their thing. So that I've been doing as well. I have also added uh, a little bit more bark on um, on the post. Um, a little bit, I fine tuned that a little bit better because, like, um, I, well, I don't think I have that in the previous video yet, but. Um, I kind of wanted to have like a little bit more like spines and, and, and like roots, basically like roots, like going on the ceiling a little bit. I thought it was a really nice touch to do that. It was a little bit harder because like I'm reusing assets <laughs> because I have to. I, I barely have any room for, for graphics thermo. Um, so I had to reuse a lot of assets and it was like a lot of puzzling here and there, but I think it came out pretty nicely. You can see it's also on this side as well. So they are like going on the roof uh, it's a little like a small touch but it's just that it like it looks a little bit like um not that it's like look like a tree but like it's like a decoration to hold everything um uh, not hold everything but like it's i don't know it, i thought it was cool <laughs> um and the bar update a bar update is pretty big um what have we done well first of all let me uh, do the first small part uh, I added a plant, uh, a flower in this case. Um, I kind of felt that we missed greenery in this place. Um, I don't want to do overdo it with greenery stuff because it's a bar and like plants will not survive that long with all the people here. So, um, and, and the bartender is maybe too busy with serving. So, uh, but I kind of want to have like a little like a nice touch with the greenery. So I, I search for a flower, a very cheap flower, but still quality, still okay. Uh, found found a different uh, potter for it. Uh, it. It came out. It, it came with a very basic pot uh, that really didn't fit, fit the style in my creation. So I found another one on the Dreamverse, and we of course we changed the color, shape, um, color gradient here and there, so like it would fit in this environment. Um, so that's what I've been doing, and as you also can tell now, we also have like a beer tap or whatever you want to call it. Um, so let me walk around a little bit. 
and I will show you how it had that's been made. I basically reused the barrels, um, different gold gradient, and I found some very cheap um, pipes, and I reused them a lot so I could like extend them. They were not coming like this. Uh, it was only like a small part, and I had to like, yeah, clone and then reshape, and so like it it would extend the whole thing. So now you have something like if you want to have like beer, like rum and stuff like that. Um, there's like three types for that, so three different beer types. Um, so that's what I've been doing as well. I readjusted the shelves here so they are a little bit more down uh, and also they were floating uh, from the uh, wall. <laughs> I don't know how that happened, but I changed that so now they're actually like uh, against the wall. And they're a little bit lower because like this little bartender, so she's not that tall. So it's, it's, it's a tiny little devil girl. Um, so yeah, she needs to still to reach at least to the to the to the highest shelf. So I put everything a little bit more down. That makes more sense. Um, I decorate a little bit underneath, not too much. I don't want to go too crazy with the details there. Maybe I will place other stuff if I have room still. Uh, but I don't want to go too crazy on the details because performance-wise, and maybe you can already tell, performance-wise is pretty good, right? Like it's um, it's around 28 percent. Um, at least the last time I checked, so um, it should be around 30, 28, 30 uh, uh, FPS, and that's totally fine for me for this creation. Um, it's not 60 FPS, Sally. <laughs> nah, we cannot do a um, PlayStation 4 base uh, with, uh, with this type of detail. Um, so yeah, that's basically it for the bar. I have not really done much else besides um, I upped a little bit of the quality of the fireplace here and there, but uh, yeah, that's basically it. Um, the rest is was still already there. So that's for the update of the bar. Now, let's go for the big, big, big update. Um, and I promised that I would probably do it in the next video, which is this video. So if you open the door... Oh, and before we're actually going to show that, uh, I deleted a character. There was like a character standing here in front of the, um, of the entrance. I kind of found it odd. I, I first had an idea maybe the character was greeting or something. Uh, I deleted it um, also to a little bit for more performance as well. So to, to reduce a little bit of like, uh, the, uh, or like up a little bit of better performance. So I deleted that character completely. Uh, because like it didn't really fell anything like it was not added added adding anything it, like yeah i don't know i didn't really feel like to it so i that's gone the other goblin is still there on the other side so that's one that you can interact with um or you're about to going to interact with uh so that's one is still there because i need to make sure that like that road is blocked basically <laughs> um another speaking about blocking roads i did something else and i finished it so if I'm panning slowly to the left, you're going to see it pretty soon. There it is. It's the staircase downstairs. Like it's going down. And this is basically like going to the city of Aldrun. So um, if you're going downstairs here and all the way down, this is like a, 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 a pathway that goes like super, super long down all the way down the mountain until you're going into in the valley where, there, where the city lies basically. Uh, you cannot go there in this creation because no room. <laughs> uh, but just use your imagination that it is there. So the city of Baldrum is... Uh, ooh, I, did, I think I forgot a um, space between the off and the, the B. All right. Um, so <laughs> I need to fix that. Um, so yeah, so but, but we, you can still go a little bit downstairs and see a little bit of like closer. So we can go down. Um, so while well, you do that. And then you will see we are hitting a uh, gateway. So the gateway is closed. You can go there. Like the gateway is um, off. It's, it's off limits for you right now. I may be considering to go in the future that you can interact with this one, and or maybe that they are open already. And then and if you are, when you are getting more downstairs, then it will trigger a next scene, and then maybe we have the actual city of Football Room uh, being made in the next creation. If I am, if I want to do that, uh, I don't know yet. Um, so yeah, they are like um, holded by the same uh, gargoyles that we have on the other side. So it feels like okay, we now are going into the city, and really like a perfect timing. We have the birds flying above. Um, I made sure 
and like maybe it feels very randomly that the birds are flying at some points but i made sure that everywhere you are in this uh, in this creation everything is placed in that certain matter that it still looks like great like it's like it's good for pic making pictures or like just like or i don't know just like uh, relaxing so i made sure that everything that is like going around like birds and uh and uh, the, the spaceships, uh, not spaceships, but, <laughs> but the airships were floating around eventually. I made sure that everything is in place in a certain way that you can always spot them in different directions and it still looks great. So that's why I place the birds in a certain part. So if you are here, then you can see the birds still like flying above here. And But it doesn't really matter where you are. Like if, if you are inside the bar, you can look outside the window and you can also look at them. The same goes with the air, uh, the, the airships. Um, so yeah, so I've been building this quite a lot and finished this part. Um, it's a little bit, maybe a little bit dark. Um, well, not dark, but like it's, um, if you like look closely, you can see that like the pad goes down, right? And then like you hit the wall, but between the wall and the other wall, there's like a gap and there's like another staircase going down. I placed the staircase, but you're not really seeing it. Like you, maybe if you're lucky, if you're like a little bit like do this you can still see maybe the, the beginning of the pathway but um but the pathway goes more down um ooh, i got stuck here oh i need to fix that by the way that we cannot like uh get under that so i need to uh put there something that people cannot get stuck under it um so yeah so there's like a staircase going down to the right and on the right is like the whole um uh yeah, the, um, the mountain of where the small town, uh, small village, uh, farm, I don't know what it is. Um, use your imagination. And we have some vines growing on the uh, walls as well, just to break a little bit more of like, uh, otherwise it looks so boring. And most of the vines are growing on the left side. Uh, I did this on purpose, so for people that are maybe wondering why did you only have like all the vines to the left and not many on the right. There are some vines on the right, but they're not growing that tall. There's a reason why I did that, because of the sun. The sun, you can see like the sun hits basically the longest time on, on the left side of the wall, so plants can grow taller. Um, yeah, I actually thought of this, <laughs> that the plants can grow tall, taller on, uh, on, the, on the wall. Uh, but on the right side, the sun doesn't really have much to go there. Um, it, it, it maybe there's like an early in the morning, there's a little bit of sunlight there, so there will be still plants be able to grow on that side, but not as tall on the left side. So there is vines on the right side, but just very, like very minor, very like uh, lower than on the left side. So that's why, if you were curious about that, I actually thought of this and so uh, i uh, did this on purpose so yeah so that's what i did um so this is like the, the one of the big update and also you'll probably already notice the whole creation like the whole view from this point has been done as well i might maybe tweak a little bit here and there extend a little bit of like the the top on the left a little bit so that goes a little bit more further down the line and um maybe a little bit of some trees here and there i want to replace them in different location but also there's like a pathway goes from behind the bar and it goes all the way to that town it's the town is abandoned basically because uh well th there's one abandoned and one still maybe operating um so use your imagination of course you cannot go there like i will not let you to go there because then it will break the immersion because you will see then where I didn't build, <laughs> um, but like, yeah, basically this whole part has been done as well. So, um, like I said, this is a, like this is episode ten, and uh, in this episode, it was more of like fine tuning and finishing the whole creation. Now, the fine tuning part may still be happening after this video, but I really want to show you already a little bit of like what I've been doing. And basically getting the big line. I will let's say 98% of the creation is done. Um, so there are like only 2% left for me to readjust a little bit of like the placements of the trees, uh, of the whole hill in the background. Um, but overall, it's pretty much done. I was also thinking about to make uh, a river. 
I have been considering to do that. And where I was thinking of, I thought maybe here there's going to be a river downstairs. But considering, or like, I eventually thought, let's not do it. Because I don't have the room anymore for for a stream here, for a water river here. The all that goes down. Um, sadly, I don't have the room. I do, I do have a little bit of graphics thermal left, but that's on purpose. I have still 3% left. Um, and I really want to use them for like fine tuning uh, the environment and a little bit of like um, because like, I'm also going to have like a UI um, create like a UI like a main menu where you can like choose from exploration, um, a chill mode, uh, maybe another mode, um, maybe like. Uh, uh, screensaver mode, screensaver mode, explore mode, and uh, uh, explore mode. Um, so that's still what I want to like going to add. But the the biggest proud that I am right now is that how smooth, in the sense of smooth, it runs. Uh, like I said, it's around 30 FPS. It sometimes goes a little bit under that, two FPS under. Uh, it stays a little bit around 28 and 30 FPS. Which is a huge deal for me because, like, when I was like building uh, three years ago, the Once Upon a Time Forest, which was uh, a little bit of like, um, I had no idea back then how what Dreams was doing, what what Dreams was working, and I was like putting so many detail in there, even though it was a very small area, but I put so many detail in there, and yeah, the engine does like that, so. Um, there was like you can if you walk there like you will you will you can you can walk in there and you will see like it's like 10 fps there <laughs> um it, even though it wasn't really meant to walk around in there but i'm not going to explain it there. i'll explain explain it earlier there. but um basically this creation has a lot more finer detail than once upon a time forest but because everything is so being carefully placed and um and being worked on um, now also three years later knowing a little bit of like what is the limit of dreams uh, especially on a base PlayStation 4 which I am so if you have a base PlayStation 4 you can just enjoy this creation just like me um, don't have to worry about like very low um, FPS um, that your like brain is going to hurt <laughs> uh, because I always get seasick if if it gets like 10 FPS or something. <laughs> and uh, there are some creations out there in the Dreamverse that's like 10 FPS because people put so many detail on it, and I really get seasick almost. So that's a motion sickness. I basically get that. So um, yeah, so I don't want to do that in my creation as much as possible. But I'm super happy that I was able to uh to maintain around the 30 fps with a lot of like high quality detail still in the in, in the environment i mean everywhere you can look like this place is a lot bigger than the once upon a time forest and even like wherever you look there's something to look at like there's like like islands floating in the distance weird spikes happening in the distance on on one light side location and if you're like looking on this side you have like a big river um an ocean with, with big statues in the distance whereas also a ship is going to like pass by slowly uh if you have to if you want to like check that out um but yeah um this is basically uh, what i have been doing in the last um in the last part basically the last little details placed here and there um i still haven't done as you can see the moment that when you click on square that like it's uh, go uh, uh removed um uh, on and on i will do that in or in the next video i will maybe do another video where i explain where i'm showing a little bit of like the main menu how's the main menu is going to look and a little bit more like technical stuff that's going to be next video so if you're not like if you don't want to if you don't care about that stuff then um yeah then this is basically the last video for you then <laughs> um i will of course like release a uh final release uh, a release trailer on my youtube channel so to give everybody um yeah the notice that hey the creation is now done and it is now finished and it's now up on the dream reverse um so yeah i really hope that you enjoyed this creation so far um i really hope that you enjoyed the whole journey with me with 
yeah, uh, showing every time new updates, what I've been worked on, and um, it, yeah, it was a lot. It was a lot. I mean, even though it, it took me a while to create this, but I really enjoyed to make this. It was like I had something envisioned in my mind, and I think that this pretty much is what I had uh, envisioned um, for what it's been possible the, in, within within the limits, of course, with dreams. Uh, I think it came out pretty nicely, um, and the funny thing is, is that the project was a little bit ambitious because, like, I also want to have the bar, right? I didn't want only want to have like the environment that you can walk around in, but also that you can actually go inside the house and inside the bar. That bar that was like the biggest challenge for me because, like, I had to make it with the assets that I already had placed in the scene and without cutting and without doing anything weird because like i didn't want to raise up too much graphics term for that because like i was already like at 95 percent or something like that uh, before i even built this um house so um yeah so a little bit of like an inside there um <clears throat> but yeah it's done it's it's basically done and what is so nice like i said in the beginning of the video there's no matter where you are inside the house outside the house there's always something to look at and i made sure that um no matter where you are everything you can look at it's it's like there's something to see and if there's like birds flying around or there were tre like trees in the distance you can see like like you can see there's like another like mountain where the house is standing on let me try to stand on this uh, there you go um so you can see there's like different levels of like the mountain right i really want to give give the player the feeling that the player is on a mountain and you are on the mountain uh, not the tallest one a little bit lower still because like if you're living too high it's very cold so like just like low enough still but i really want to give the player still the feeling like there you are like still in an area where it's like rocks and rocks and mountains and stuff like that and also on the the location where you are walking so that's why on this side you see that like a really different leveling uh, on the other side not so much on the other side there's more of an open area so if like going on the other side you uh, can also look outside and no matter like i said no matter where you're looking there's something to see maybe this side is a little bit, maybe a little bit more boring um, but there's like a well you can look at so like i said i'm not placing stuff randomly in my creation i always i am an i i I don't, yeah, it's weird to say it for myself, but I'm an environment artist, so I always make sure, no matter where you are in the location, no matter where you are in the creation, in, in this creation, I always want to make sure there's something to look at, and there's something as a vista point. Um, I, I did that when I was still building on the game Aria, which is um, not not going to be happening anymore, sadly. But I had that same vision. I always make sure that everywhere you where you're looking in the game. It always have a certain vista point or a review point or something like a review um i love doing stuff that, that's like yeah if you are a environment artist you know what i'm talking about right so i made that sure i made sure that everywhere where you look there is something to tell to see and to look at so um it's important like if you are not per se a an envi environmental artist but more of like maybe you still you want to learn like make sure that there are some like perspective in the environment that everywhere you look it looks good it looks nice um like here we have the floating islands like in this window and so in each window there is something else to to look at so here we have the spikes right the spikes in the distance we can look at and a well and the tree and the wasteland in the distance and on the other side on the other side we have the the rocks and the, the mountains a little bit more bumpier in the, in the background and with some buildings and houses so everywhere you look there is something different to see and that is basically what you have to do as an environment artist so that things are not too boring to look at um so yeah that's basically what i wanted to show in this video it was a big update, so we almost like a half hour in uh, in this video. Uh, it was a big update, but I, yeah, I think I have basically now discussed everything that I want to. I cannot really uh, think of anything else anymore. 
but uh let me stand in a very nice spot like here um but, oh, look at the birds flying there um but a good timing again so yeah let me know what you liked about this creation and what you not like of course and also tell me if you are watching this let me know in the comments um uh would you like um yeah okay do you want to explore this yourself and do you want to walk around in it um i'm not really sure when i'm going to release this creation um it's probably after of course not, not probably but it's, it's of course after i have done the logics and like you can talk to the goblin still and um, maybe there you have some conversation you can hear some conversation happening in the bar uh that's still a consideration that i want to do i want to make it a little bit more interactive here and there not too much not too crazy it's still a exploration create uh, area so it's not a game it's more of like peaceful um creation and also the airship is floating by as well what a great timing um so yeah uh i'm going to leave it for here i really want to say thank you so much for if you have been watching this the whole journey as well with me I know it was a little bit different this time, so I'm not sculpting and showing sculpting in these videos. Um, but I thought maybe it's a little bit more fun to do it this way, a little bit more behind the scenes. That's why it's also behind the scenes series. Uh, to show a little bit of what, what I've been created, what I've been placed, what I've been done, what I've been built. Um, so yeah, a little bit of different type of videos. Maybe the next series I'm going to do showing the whole process again, so that you can see me sculpting. Uh, everything again so maybe that will be in the next series um, maybe it's the city of Baldrun that we're going to uh, sculpt ourselves because it's getting harder to find stuff on the Dreamiverse that fits your um, your ideas basically it, this, was, it was, this was already a big, big challenge because of the bar and the, the outskirts basically like the, the the land itself now the land itself is easy because a lot of people have created trees and and other, and other stuff like that and ground and stones and so that was a little bit more easier but um yeah if you're actually going to build a city that i have envisioned then you have to scale something yourself because then it will be super hard to do and find it in dreams and um yeah, so that's basically what um, I'm not. I'm not saying that I'm going to do it, but if you're, if this creation gets a little bit more, like hopefully a bit attention, uh, I may be considering to expand the the lore and that you can actually go to the different locations like the the Argyle Highlands and the Baldrum City, uh, and maybe even the port, the port of uh, Stormwind. Um, it's called Stormwind. Yeah, it's called Stormwind. <laughs> the port Stormwind. Maybe we're going to create that as well. So um, maybe we're going to connect different things here and there in the future. Um, I do not know yet, but yeah. Um, consideration. All right. So now I'm going to actually going to close this video down. So I'm going to say thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed this whole journey. Uh, the next video is going to be probably a little bit more logic and stuff like that. So I can understand if you don't want to watch it. And if you do, then please look forward to the next video. Um, but for now, I'm going to say thank you so much for watching. And I hope I uh, will see you in the next video. And don't forget to... Uh, I'm going to say it just one more time. Like, subscribe. Um, I really, it, it, it really helps me, uh, by the way. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Goodbye. And... As always, don't forget to dream, everybody. Bye-bye. Sharky's out.